excited because he didn't think it was going to be that big. And his mom was like, you need to get on this call. And it's cool because she's in the business with him so she can still boss him around for the rest of her life. So <laughs> it's, it's, you need to get on this call. It's like a board, it's like a boardroom meeting and Sam's walking around like he's crap, cracking a whip and everybody's going crazy selling the sudden sense. You got to get on here. So and so he got on and next thing you know, he did his over 29,000 in sales. Jackie and her crew and the, and the, and, the, and the, what was it? The, Jackie and Jayla. Jackie and Jayla. The new Tawana, diamond, Tawana, yeah. you know, um, the, Elaine, the Hearst, Elaine. yeah, uh huh. There you go. They sold over a thousand boxes, uh, killed it, you know. Uh, and then you had Danny and and Talitha, Talitha. Uh, they killed it. Then you had David Hunt, he killed it. I mean, it's they just went bananas, man. Once they just they figured out what to do, it just it was a wrap. They went crazy with it. Awesome, yeah. And and you know, Sam, I I know that uh, you know being a diamond, you subscribe to the to the uh, philosophy of Lou. And that is loyalty, unity, and edification for those that don't know. And that is an underlying philosophy that, that drives everything that we do and is foundational to I Boomerang. And so that was Lou in action. So uh, I know that they appreciate you oh, yeah. and, uh, and we do too. And uh, you guys knocked it out of the park. Thank you so much for everything you do for the big team. Thank, thank you. you. We appreciate yeah. you. And thank you guys again for trusting us to do what we do. Uh, because it means a lot for us to actually be able to to be able to uh, take care of the platform. Because I remember back in the day, Mark, you may not remember this, because I was we were cross lining that that old old, old company. But y'all had a y'all had a gold trip that y'all would take. You know what I'm saying? And and I was like, man, one of these days I'm a, I'm gonna go gold so we can go on these trips and do all this other stuff. But back in Houston, HB used to leave the 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 projector screen, the projector, the speakers, the switchboards, all that stuff. The cash box, everything with us. We would always say, say, uh, take care of the market while y'all were on y'all go, y'all go trip, you know. And so, yeah, I, I remember those trips. It's still, it's still, yeah, I still remember that. So we ran the whole show, you know. And so, uh, but it's always about taking care of the big team because the one thing I can tell you about taking care of the big team is the person who owns the big team will always take care of you. It's called favor. <laughs> so, yeah. hey, you know, yeah. a favor is always there when you need it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, that, that says a lot about who you guys are, right? You know, everybody else was taking this gold trip and, and you guys weren't gold yet, but you were acting like you were gold, right? And right. now you're diamond. And, and, you know, that was, that was 18 years ago, man. That, that was, you know, so, so, you know, you were doing and, and subscribing to this philosophy mm -hmm. for years and years and years. And uh, again, you know, you guys are awesome. Love you guys, man. Love you guys. So here's here's what I want to do now. Um, I want you guys, you know, just to tell a little bit about your story, okay? And I, I, I want people to hear because there might be some new people that are on this call that have never heard your story. So I'd like you to go back and talk about what you did prior to network marketing and then uh, your journey in network marketing over these last uh, last couple of decades? Well, grab your Kleenex box. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, our journey, uh, when we first started in this industry, Sam has already had some experience in the industry. Myself, uh, not so. I was exposed to the industry in another company. It cost me probably, it cost me about 5,000 to get started. Mm -hmm. um, and that 5,000 is probably like a starter kit here in iBoomerang. And I didn't have the money to get started, but my, my, my brother, he was excited about the industry. You know, he's like, you know what, I'll pay your way uh, for you to, for, for you to build the business. You're a great speaker, this, that, and whatever else. And so he bought it. He bought the package for me. And I was excited because it's another way of uh, income. But one thing that didn't attract me was it was all glitz and glamour. It was, you know, what you wore. It was the jewelry. It was, you know, uh, the cars, the houses. And we love all of that. But at that moment, that did not attract me. What attracted me was how can I make this $5,000 back to pay my brother? And they pushed me to do presentations, but yet didn't give me any tools to work with. And so um, a confused person does what? Absolutely nothing. So that's exactly what I did. Absolutely nothing. When we ventured into our, um, the first company, we started uh, to make some income there. Um, probably about maybe, you know, two to $3,000 um, a month. 
And we, we thought it was decent income, but it wasn't something that we wanted to build a career off of. Uh, we took that money, built real estate, built mortgage, um, stepped out of the industry because, you know, we saw bigger things in real estate. And um, lo and behold, fast forward there to 2008. In 2008, uh, we, we did, we made great decisions, but one of the banks that we were doing with didn't make great decisions. Two banks that we were doing business didn't make great decisions they went bankrupt and we didn't even know it. We weren't in those boardrooms. We weren't in those meetings. We didn't know that they were going bankrupt. So we woke up literally with, um, with zero income. And we end up having to sell our real estate, every, all of the equipment, tools, machinery, you know, printers, copiers, all of that, computers, we sold everything. As a matter of fact, somebody in the business right now actually remembered when she came to my garage and bought some of the furniture. And uh, she was like, that's you. I was like, yep, that was me. Uh, but, you know, it's, those were tough times that was challenging for us. Uh, but we didn't know what was in store for our future. So many times you think that, you know, the, the world is closing in on you, but you don't realize that, you know, your creator's only taking things away from you. So that way you can see more clearer. And our vision was even much more clearer. Even at that time, we were six, uh, we were six months pregnant. We were going through a uh, foreclosure, two vehicle repossessions. So I had to sell all of our equipment. I talk about it all the time, pregnant, ordering off the dollar menu. Uh, driving around the corner just to see if the uh, front porch uh, ring doorbell ringer was on. If the light was on, that means the electricity was on. If it was off, that means that we walked in with no electricity. And I remember we still, even still pregnant at that particular company, um, we had maybe like $150, $175 left in the account and the electricity uh, bill was due. The water bill was due. My I did the bill, so my husband didn't know. And he had to go to Dallas. I took that last $175, gave it to my husband to go build the business. And as soon as he left, um, no more than a few hours later, the electricity cut off. When the electricity cut off, it was just like, you know what, you know, it's okay. During the whole time when he was building in Dallas and he would call on me and check up on me and the soon to be baby, um, I never told him that the electricity was off because he couldn't do nothing at that time. The only thing that he could do was focus on the business. And that's what's going to bring income. Me nagging about a bill that we can't do nothing about at that time wasn't, wasn't going to be beneficial to either of us. So that was when I started working on my negativity. He started uh, building the business big at that point. Um, lo and behold, things just started, you know, getting traction and uh, we started, you know, focusing on building the business. We started focusing on each other and what was in store. Our belief was built off of Mr. Bugs and Mr. Haynes and what they had. And I remember when we received some traction, we transitioned to another company. Mr. Holton Bugs drove up in a white, clean four-door BMW. And we were like, dang. <laughs> and we had a few people there for a meeting and he had this envelope and he handed this envelope to a guest he, and he says you know what I don't know what it is just open it up and he opened it up uh, our guest opened it up it was a six-figure check with zeros and commas <laughs> and so um it, it was at that point in time that's where our belief really started we were like you know what if, if they could do it, we can too. You know, they, they started from a similar background. You know, they had a traditional business. We had a business and, you know, we could just make it happen. You know, ordinary people going out there doing some extraordinary things to get some extraordinary success. And so that's when we knew the leadership that was in place, we, it, it had to be a win-win situation. And so um, when you get a bite of success, you don't want to let it go when it comes to this industry because we got the freedom, we have the financial gain. And then when our, born, our son was born, literally nine months into us building our network marketing company, I gave the job, my job, my J-O-B back to the economy. And that was the best thing that I could ever do. And I literally cleaned out my desk, did everything. They knew I was about to leave. I wanted, I wanted them to know that I was about to leave. And my husband was like, don't leave just yet. We're going to bring a limo. We're going to do balloons. We're going to make it a, you know, I'm going to walk in with roses. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need all of that. 
I just want to chunk the deuce and be good. And blessing enough under the toolish leadership of Mr. Haynes, Mr. Bugs, their beautiful wives. Um, I was able to walk away from my job. You know, my husband built the business and, you know, I was, I did the back end work. I made a commitment to my husband. As long as he's out there building the business, I'll take care of the bills. I'll take care of the home front. You don't have to mow the lawn. You don't have to change the light bulb. You don't even have to change the pampers for the baby. Just focus on the business. And that's really where we understood each other's strengths and we worked on each other's weaknesses or, or you know, areas of improvement. And then from there, you know, we hit diamond, we received great success, had some awesome residual income, still building some awesome residual income. And then, then now that we've had achieved that success at that point, we said, you know what, it's time to bring other people along with us. And so, you know, during that time, we, we had people hit ranks, but we wanted them to hit higher ranks. We wanted them to hit uh, uh, emeralds, diamonds, blue diamonds. And then we knew that at that point we had to work on us. And working on us was very, very key and imperative to the success of our business. Because if we stop growing and someone comes in, you know, a, a, a Ed, Mr. Edwin Haynes of the world, a, a, a Mr. Holton Bugs of the world, Mr. Cesar Munoz of the world walks in and say, you know what, I'm ready to get started. We wouldn't be able to have the personal development to get started, to get them started right, you know. And so we had to continue work on us. And still today we work on us. Um, and let me, let, I'm gonna let you take over from there. I mean, because <laughs> I said a lot. You're doing, you're doing good, but uh, I mean, up to this point, Mark, you uh, you had any questions about anything, or you want to just you know, keep on going? Uh, what you what you want to do? You you keep on going. <laughs> Go for it. Oh man, but it's it's you know at this point, like she said, um, you, you already know that you have to grow in this industry. Matter of fact, I actually had a situation where a, a real good friend of mine, a long time friend of mine, and well, people who had, I would say long time, but a person I built a relationship with uh, in the industry, you know, uh, I put her in front of HB before and in that company. And then um, she didn't get started, right? And so we end up continuing our relationship and, and she sat down with HB again and she didn't get started, but she turned around and she got started with another person in, in, in the, uh, the company uh, a little bit later on. And for me, I didn't take it personal because she made a business decision. It stung, uh, but it forced me to let me to, to go in and raise my, in my financial thermostat. Because again, uh, if I don't raise my financial thermostat and I don't think bigger, don't talk bigger, I can't teach bigger, uh, then I'm only going to enroll people who have uh, nothing but a dream, which is nothing wrong with that. But, people who have experience, people who have tenure in this industry, uh, they're not going to join somebody who, you know, uh, they can't follow or who can't support them or, or a person who can't lead the masses that are coming behind them. So uh, for me, you know, I, I had to shift gears because I didn't, I didn't want that to happen again. And, you know, so the cool part about it is when we left, you know, that company um, and we just say, hey, look, we're gonna, we're gonna walk away from, you know, 40 grand plus a month in residual reoccurring income, not commission-based. 90% of our income was residual-based, which is why I'm extremely excited about the Boomerang program. Uh, but we walked away from that $40,000 a month, you know, uh, to start all over again uh, as new people because, you know, when we joined another company, you know, we were new, we were excited, you know, but we didn't have any influence. Leaving this company, we left our whole entire team over there and we, we enrolled 78 people first 30 days, I think, uh, and then like maybe 104 the first 60 days total. Uh, but all of that was based off of, you know, again, evolving uh, and, and putting ourselves out there, uh, meeting new people and becoming valuable and, and creating a, a level of value for, um, for ourselves in front of other people. So when we joined here, you know, it was just, you know, just turn on the work, you know, go to work and make it happen. So everything kind of, you know, the evolution, like she was saying, the personal development, it all, it all helped out in the grand scheme of things and um, built a really good uh, first 30 days here in the company. Uh, went down in two weeks, broke a diamond, uh, half a million dollars in volume plus. Uh, we broke HB's, you know, 30, uh, uh, first check. Uh, and they, I didn't even know that until he said it in, in Atlanta and, they, and it, it, it surprised me and it got me excited, you know, because you always want to go and, and and reach or, or surpass a mile marker that your, your, your leader, you know, your mentor has set, you know, with their own work. 
and results. You know, you may not hit it in the same time period that they did, uh, which, you know, would be abnormal in most cases dealing with HB, uh, but just to hit it and know that you reached it, a point that he left, you know, and vacated, but just to know that you did something that he did, uh, it, it lets you know the one that you were following the right person, but two that you became the right person. So uh, it's exciting, man. Love this industry. You know what? I, I, I love that story. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. Kim, you staying home, just do what you need to do, Sam, just do what you need to do. And you did it and you did it and you rocked it. And, uh, and here you guys are today, uh, leaders in this organization. And, and that's what I love. And, and, and again, I got to bring it up, not only leading your own organization, but, but spreading that uh, wisdom, that leadership, 